If you've organized your home in the past only to find that it gets messy again, these Dollar Tree hidden gems are for you. This is Shannon from Skip to My Life, and we're going to start by going to Dollar Tree and heading for the kids section. You'll want to pick up at least one of these brand new doll clothing carrying cases. Let's create a portable office using the little elastic straps in this carrying case. Keep watching because I'll show you two ideas for how I'm using this new find. Not only is this case water resistant, but it's roomy enough to fit all the supplies you need for a portable office. In addition, it fits perfectly inside the front pocket of a backpack, either for yourself or for your favorite student. This is Shannon from Skip to My Life, and if you have gotten yourself organized and spent lots of money on organizing systems only to find that they fall apart and your house is as messy as before, today's episode is going to help you solve that problem. Well, let's remember the purpose of organization. It's to have the tools you need at the ready when you need them. And my problem with these double-sided dry erase markers is that they were falling everywhere. They weren't sticking at the magnets to the board. And so I used the simple doll case to keep them hanging on that board, ready for me to use when I need them and put them back right away. Instead of organizing your home like it looks on a Pinterest board or a YouTube video even, let's create some centers that are gonna be easy for you to use in the places you need them most. I'm using an office organizer from Dollar Tree along with my label maker to make this simple first aid station on the inside of my bathroom closet. This center will keep us organized because I won't have to rifle through all kinds of items to get to those things that I use most commonly. And those are regular size band-aids, thermometers, and some first aid cream. This particular Dollar Tree organizer is great for the inside of cabinets because it's narrow enough to allow those doors to close without bumping up against everything else inside the cabinet. If you have oddly shaped cupboards and cabinets that are very deep, but also narrow, this next tip is for you. As you can see here, I had an organization system in place, but it was no longer working for us. And the main reason was because I had segmented it into very small containers that were really hard for me to get to. If you've been around Skip to My Life for a while, you know I strongly suggest you clean the whole space out first, and this will result in a messy middle, so don't be scared off by that. I'm using three of my Dollar Tree favorite hidden organizing gems to organize this awkward space, and I'll show you how. If you're new to Skip to My Life, I want to give you a great big welcome. Now, hang on to see how I'm going to use this little skeleton tray in my organizing project. Once I had organized all the basic first aid supplies that we use on a regular basis, I was left with so many other items. Now the second step after cleaning out this cabinet was to go through and eliminate all the items that were expired or that there was barely any remaining. All three of the items I'm showing you here are easily able to be labeled, but also just to be pulled out, moved around, and used however is best for us. If you use some of the tips that I'm teaching you today, it's really not necessary to spend a lot on organization, containers, and systems. It's about making the tools that you have or that you can buy reasonably work well for your situation. Don't forget to allow a space for all those pesky papers and boxes that give you the important instructions and expiration dates you need. Well, this little clear skeleton box is the perfect size to hold some of the ointments and drops that I didn't want to misplace. Not only can I easily use everything in this cabinet, but I had extra space to store these hand towels. And let me tell you, I'm not a big fan of the tiny band-aids. If you are, comment below and let me know. If you're getting a great idea today, please let me know by clicking that like thumbs up button. Not only can I easily see what we have and get access to it, but it's so simple for me now to know what I need to restock. And in addition, my whole medicine cabinet is clear now for other items. 
Several years ago, my husband and I downsized once our kids were grown and flown, and our house now is about a fourth the size of the house we moved from. So I have learned to use all vertical surfaces for storage and organization. These Dollar Tree shoe organizers are perfect for holding all your cleaning odds and ends, as well as many different things you can store on the back of a door. Now you can get the eight pocket version for $1.25 or the larger version in the Dollar Tree Plus section. If you're over labeling everything in pretty letters just because it looks nice, I am here for you. I love power labeling, which means labeling things that are very easily put in the wrong place. So let's save our labeling for where it really matters most. For this next Dollar Tree hidden gem for organization, we're going back to the kids section. Now there are a total of three kids section organizing tools in this video. Comment below and let me know if you found all three. I would have absolutely flipped over this little doll closet when I was in my Barbie face as a little girl, but we are not going to use it to store doll clothes. Let's start by removing all the dividers and then we will actually take off both plastic doors on either side. If you love the whimsical look of this box, be sure to leave it as is, but this additional step is for those of you who want to take it up a notch. I started covering the back and sides of this box by measuring it and using the Dollar Tree Cricut type paper. If you've used Dollar Tree's Cricut dupe paper, please comment below and let me know what you love about it, what you don't like about it. I'm going to demonstrate in this little project and you can make your own mind up. If you decide you want to change the color of this box, you could also just spray paint the whole thing another color, or you could just simply remove the backing from the inside of that box. I had this marbleized shelf paper on hand, so I decided to try it against the Dollar Tree contact paper. Well, I love teaching you how to live an upscale lifestyle on a downsized budget, and we all know that spending money on organizing containers does not make our space organized. So for that reason, my goal today was to show you how to spend much less on containers that are going to work just as well for you. As you can see from my little experiment, the Dollar Tree paper was see-through completely. So I ended up redoing the back of the storage container with my marbleized contact paper. Now let me show you what I'm going to use this for. I'll demonstrate three different uses for this box. And the first is to contain essential oil products. Next, we'll replace some of those dividers, including that slide-in clothes rack. This simple hidden gem from Dollar Tree makes a wonderful storage unit for common hair accessories. I love using organizers like this box that can be stacked one on top of the other, but let me warn you that if you turn this upside down, everything will fall out. So don't use it for items that you really need to be secure or that might get jostled around a lot. However, this is a great container if you want to use all your space because the corners are 90 degree angles. If you wear glasses or contacts, wouldn't it be great to have a little kit for all the supplies you need in one space? Well, this doll closet is the perfect size for that kind of a kit, and you could easily store it in a glove compartment or in a drawer. Well, this may be my simplest organization idea for you yet. If you find that you've organized things before, but you look around you and see tons of visual clutter, you may need to simplify your surroundings. Since Dollar Tree has upped their price from $1 to $1.25, I've noticed that they're giving us more neutral colored things like these kitchen utensils, simply replacing the dark colored and mismatched tools I had in my kitchen with neutral colors made my whole space appear more organized and decluttered. Next, let's have a really honest and respectful conversation about using plastic storage containers. I will tell you my philosophy on this topic and I want you to share yours below in the comment section. Now, I believe in areas like the kitchen and the bathroom where glass can actually be a hazard, it's best to use BPA-free plastics. In other rooms of my home, I use more natural materials for organization and storage containers. But in these two rooms, I find more peace of mind knowing the glass isn't going to break and cause a hazard. I'm not going to say who, but someone in my home placed this container in the dishwasher and I wanted to show you what happens. 
we talked about labels before, and when I can, I try to avoid labeling by just providing clear storage that I can see what is inside very easily. This allows me the flexibility of using that container for another purpose down the line without having to scrape off or remove that label. You'll find the Lucite drawers and the vanity organizer in Dollar Tree's cosmetics section. If you live in a small or rental home like we do, this allows you to keep your counters clear of clutter. In the past, I've done several episodes on kitchen and refrigerator organization, and many of you have asked me why I take the eggs out of the carton and place them in the Dollar Tree clear egg divider. By using these clear containers in my small refrigerator, I can at a glance see what needs to be replenished and it has cut my grocery shopping and restocking time dramatically. If you've ever spent a lot of money on an organizing system only to find that your objects rattle around inside or fall over, this tip is for you. Purchase a smaller and a larger organizer and nest them inside each other. You will create three different spaces that will stay put. Comment below and let me know if you struggle with paper storage. And by that, I mean receipts, mail, and all kinds of paper goods that you have no idea what to do with. This simple system using two wire baskets from Dollar Tree and four 50 cent cups from Walmart has really helped me with that problem. I'm using this little station to segment my receipts by the store that I spent them in. So each cup has its own store and the receipt goes in there until I have time to file it. If you have a craft or hobby area in your home, this next idea is for you. There are so many tiny objects, whether you're beading, knitting, doing wood crafts, or something else that get scattered and cluttered all over the room. I found these Matchbox car holders in the kids section at Dollar Tree and I use them all over my craft room. The removable dividers make them easy to use for all different kinds of objects and they also have those true 90 degree corners so you're going to use the maximum of your shelf space. Best of all that lid clicks tight and you can stack these as tall as you like. Well many of you have told me that you live in older homes with very awkward spaces or perhaps you're renting and you'd like to use the most of some of the closet space but nothing will fit inside. Here's an idea in the pet center of Dollar Tree. These cat litter pans can double the counter space when you're getting ready in your bathroom if they fit perfectly in your rectangular sink. These pans are versatile for so many awkward spaces. If you're needing out of season shoe storage, Four or five pairs of flat soled shoes will fit in this pan and you can simply slide it underneath your bed or couch. If you need more efficient storage for your silk florals or for your party supplies, these cat litter pans stacked on top of each other are perfect for those lightweight items. Pick up some of the mini cordial cups in the party supply section at Dollar Tree, glue them with a tight adhesive in the corners of each pan, now you have a stacking system for so many items in those awkward spaces. Let me just take a moment to tell each of you how very thankful and appreciative I am for you and for each and every one of your likes and comments. Thank you so much for building this positive, warm, inviting community with me. If you're looking for a super easy and very affordable way to organize your drawers, yes, even your messiest junk drawers, pick up some of these three divided trays from Dollar Tree. You can find them in the party section and use them one at a time for narrow drawers like the one I'm showing you or side by side for larger drawers. This simple system forced me to narrow down what I really needed in this drawer. But let's face it, you don't really need to spend any money at all if your budget is tiny for organizing your space. You can simply use boxes that you already have I chose these from Dollar Tree because they stacked perfectly on top of each other, but really any lidded box will do. Now I have a really high-end storage system that I'm proud to keep out in the open and looks like a designer Tiffany box. No one is the wiser. Don't forget to let me know which of these ideas was your absolute favorite and if you're still here with me, it's because I have a very special message. Today's not the end of your story. Don't let it define you. Keep going.